Hey guys, so this is going to be my uh, acrylic pouring on a budget video and I haven't done it with these materials before so who knows how it will look. Um, this is every single thing from the dollar store. This is from the dollar store. Um, I'm using these crafters acrylic paints which are also from the dollar store. Um, I've got white glue from the dollar store. Cups from the dollar store stir sticks from the dollar store and then as a uh, silicone I'm going to be using this lubricant I have no idea what was in it but it's the closest thing to WD-40 that I could find um, there's probably other things that you could use and so we're gonna go ahead and get tra start with this so in these cups is the craft glue and then um, I mean yeah the glue the craft paint and then just like a tiny bit of water I'm going to spray this once in here. Alright. Just a little bit more. Also thought I'd try a little bit different color palette. I'm basically using silver as my white. See, I have no idea how these how these colors will hold up. If there's going to be any cells or anything, no clue. And just a little bit more black and then we'll go ahead and flip this over okay just gonna get the cups out of the way So I am going to let this sit here for a second, and then uh, while we do that, I'm just going to add everything up. So I had four colors of paint, I had the cups, the stir sticks, the glue, the silicone substitute, and then this board. So that's everything. So that's $9 or less, because obviously I didn't use all of the paint or all of the glue or anything, so most of these are reusable materials. And of course, the stir sticks and whatnot. So it's less than nine dollars. Um, and yeah, you don't even have to buy this. You could practice on other things. But let's see how this comes out. Pretty exciting so far. I'm not going to use my torch or anything because I did not get it at the dollar store. So. Big air bubble. Okay. Let's go a little bit more this way. All right. That's good. So as you can see, we've definitely got cells popping up from whatever the heck that lubricant stuff was that I put in there. Um, all right. As usual, we'll let this sit here for a little bit and see what else happens, you know, what else pops up or moves around. Um, I feel like my main concern with the craft paint is that it may move a lot more, continue to move. Um, but it was a pretty good consistency of the paint, so who knows? All right, so we'll let this sit here and then we'll be back. All right, so I let this sit here for a bit. Cells have continued to pop up, like more are still popping up through here, through here. These have gotten, I think, a little bit bigger. So anyways, overall, pretty darn cool. 
definitely an interesting color scheme. Um, I think I might try that again on another painting. I kind of like it. And uh, we'll go ahead and go in for the close-up. All right, here we go. So yeah, quite a few cells. I like it. I don't know why, but I really like this cell right here. I think it's really cool. So yeah, overall, definitely a success. I will post a picture of it after it dries on my Instagram tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.